Hi, I'm Craig Butt. I'm a digital producer at the Melbourne Press Club. Uh, every uh, for the Melbourne Press Club's website, I write a piece on a useful resource for journalists. Uh, this week's piece is on Google+, Plus, but rather than just writing an article about it, we thought we'd actually use Google+, Plus's video Hangouts feature to actually conduct a bit of a chat about how Google+, Plus could be used by journalists, um, some of the first impressions people have had of it so far, and um, really how it could be useful for people working in the media. Uh, so you can probably see everyone below me here uh, have kindly decided to give up their Tuesday night to be part of this discussion. So um, what I'll do is I'll get all of you, um, starting with Danny, just to kind of introduce yourself, sort of say where you're from, what you do, and um, yeah, we'll see how we go from there. Hi everyone, my name is uh, Danny Tran, I'm from Fairfax Community Network and I write for the Monash Weekly, so um, I cover the local bit around the Monash area and the Monash Council, um, and uh, yeah. All views are my own. Excellent. I'm uh, I'm Christopher Lawson. I uh, I work at Network Ten um, in the news department in Melbourne. Um, so I I'm a news librarian there, and I manage the social media um, side of things um, for our news department. So that's me. Hi, I'm Nick Evershed. I work for Fairfax Regional Online. Um, and I'm a multimedia producer there. I uh, do a bit of social media as well, and I also occasionally teach at UTS in uh, online journalism. Um, yeah, that's about it. I should stress that, you know, I'm not in any way representing Fairfax. Uh, oh, my. <laughs> as I agree. I'm sure the rest of you know. And um, looks like we're just getting one more person joining us as well. Um, can you hear us, Brendan? Um, so I'm working at the Herald Sun. I'm actually working in the social media department, but I think out of all of us, I'd probably be the biggest Google Cro um, uh, Google Plus novice at the moment just because my social media editor doesn't think this is any good. So I'm trying to investigate it and find out if it is actually, you know, worth pursuing. And uh, so far, like, with something like this, I can see this could, with video. It would be a, a good way to connect with uh, in terms of journalists, that's for sure. So maybe I'll get the first question underway, and I'll just basically get all of you to answer this in turn. Um, what are your impressions of Google Plus so far? Should I go first, Danny? Yeah, sure. Look, um, it's okay. I don't think it's great. I mean, it's a bit bare. I think it'll be better when more people join. But in terms of um, journalism, I don't see a future. And what do you think, Nick? Uh, yeah, I mean, I have to agree, it's got a good design, probably the best design we've seen out of uh, most Google products, which aren't really renowned for their design. Um, in terms of journalism, uh, it really will kind of hinge on whether or not they can get the user base, I guess, much like uh, other networks. But I think uh, all the basics are there, and I mean, I've seen some people that have actually moved their blogs completely across to Google+, Plus, for example. Um, just because they reckon they get better engagement, but you know they're all kind of in the tech publishing world, um, kind of bloody Silicon Valley startup types, all that kind of jazz, which is uh, really Google Plus's core audience at the moment, <laughs> as far as I can tell. Um, but yeah, hopefully once it actually goes open up to everyone, um, we'll get a bit of a clearer idea um, how well it actually does. But yeah, I'm, I'm quite hopeful that it'll actually uh, be a contender. What are your thoughts on it so far, Brendan? Well, haven't used. I can realise my camera's really old, so I look really blurry compared to all you guys. Anyway, but I haven't used it a lot. I do like the layout, and I can see the appeal maybe in journalism in terms of maybe doing a call out. If you're a bit like Source Model, if you're trying to look for potential sources that want to um, be involved in a story, whether it might be a, maybe a video story, it might not be bad. Uh, in that regard, maybe if you're able to send a, a call out saying we want to find someone in this area, that, in that regard it might work, but it, it's uh, yet to be seen until enough people are really using it, I think. Okay. What about you, Christopher? Well, I, I've been playing around with it um, for the past, past couple of days, and to be honest, I, I, think, I think this is probably Google's best attempt at um, trying to... I don't know if you would say replicate what other people have been doing, but at least it's their best attempt at getting into social media. Um, I see a lot of positives with 
Google Plus, a lot of things that they are doing right, um, and the way they the way they've designed the social connections is excellent. And I think it could be a serious threat to at, at least sites like Twitter. Um, not so much Facebook. I think that that would be pretty hard to kick down. But it's it's a it's a good effort, but it, it it's got a lot of work to do. You did say that it could be a threat to Twitter, though. Could you sort of elaborate on that a bit? Well, I, I think for a lot, a lot of people, Twitter has some serious kind of limitations, um, especially around, you know, for, for a lot of people, it's a, it's a great service and it does what it's meant to do. It delivers short messages. Um, and, I, and, I, and I love that. But there, there is a lot of conversation happening on Twitter which is more than more than just those 140 characters and I know that myself and I know that other people find it frustrating when you're writing um, several messages in response to people you just don't have that kind of that kind of platform and um, to, to be able to expand on what you're saying and so you see people bringing in all these other services into Twitter to make it work um, Google Plus, I think, kind of offers that that platform for extended conversation, which Twitter is really kind of been longing for. And I, I think with stuff like even like the integration of this um, Hangout feature, which we're using at the moment, um, I think offers a serious way for people to have those extended conversations that they don't get on a service like Twitter. Um, and, and and for a lot of people, you know. It, there are a, lot, are a lot of users on Twitter, but a lot of people still don't get what Twitter is about. And there are a lot of people on Twitter that don't use it or, or don't use it frequently. And I see, I see that as a serious setback for Twitter as a service. And we've seen recently that Twitter's growth has really kind of slowed off. They, were, they had that hype period and then now it's slowed. And I think we're going to see Google Plus maybe... Um, stop that even further um, because it does have that extended ability. And with the, the Google Plus app as well for, for iPhones and, you know, that I'm sure they've got one on Android as well. And um, I, I think that really poses a serious threat. Okay. What about for um, breaking news, though? Because, you know, Google Plus's feed, it's set up. It's not set up in chronological order like Twitter. What it will show is it'll have some things that might be from yesterday, some that are from today, some that are you know, from about a week ago if someone's reblogged it up again. Um, I'm just interested to see what you all think about how the way that the actual posts are structured and organised and the way that the, you know, the comments actually appear underneath in these threaded kind of uh, threads. Well, you can actually edit the posts, so um, you can live blog in them. I've seen someone do that. I uh, can't remember what the story was for, but, um, you know, the breaking, I think they just call themselves breaking news. They've got, like, a Twitter account, a Facebook thing, and they just aggregate stuff. But, yeah, they live blog something on Google Plus just by editing the original post. So, you know, it's quite good. Could that be a potential use for journalists? Sure, but, I mean, it brings a question, why would you do it on Google Plus when you could do it on your own website and get all the traffic and you know, ad impressions and all that kind of jazz, so that, um, maybe more engagement on Google+, Plus, but I don't think so, not yet. Google+, Plus has no immediacy, I think, because with Twitter, things come up in your feed and they're tweeted and they just come up straight away and then you can retweet them and you can reply to them, but with, with Google+, Plus, it just, it just doesn't happen as quickly. I don't think, like with Twitter, the idea is to amass followers and then get all these new sources and then you can put them together into your own story using something like Storify. But with Google+, Plus, I think at the moment not, not enough people are on it, but I don't think that because it has no retweet function, then it, there's no immediacy and it's not very good for news breaking, I think. Do you think from a journalist's perspective that there's limited news gathering applications in Google+, Plus, considering that Facebook, you know, you can usually find people on there if you need to get a picture or if you want to kind of connect with someone, and on Twitter... You can usually get updates from what's been happening around the world, like we would have seen in the last 24 hours of the London riots. Do um, you uh, Google Plus could perform this kind of function? If the user base gets big enough, then sure. Um, it'll just be like, you know, finding a source or actually using it for sources, um, like any large network or, you know, 
system of publishing, I guess. Um, in terms of unique stuff that's there that other places don't have, I don't really see any kind of, um, you know, anything different from, say, the way you go about things on Facebook or Twitter for the moment, except for that thing that I mentioned about blogs earlier. I mean, you can actually, you could actually run basically a whole kind of article straight into Google Plus and then have comments on it just like a site if you really wanted to. But again, I can't really see the point in that just yet. Um, and obviously Hangouts, maybe you could use them to, you know, get readers into your like editorial conferences or um, stuff like that maybe, I'm not sure. I, I, saw, I saw the article um, that, uh, that was posted about the American newsreader that was using um, the Hangouts feature um, to just, just use it throughout the, um, the news broadcast and to interact with the audience. And I, I, I liked that. I mean, I think, I think that was cool, but um, there are things that do that already and probably better. I mean, that, the Hangout feature is limited to 10 people, and that, that's the issue is that it's limited. Um, and if you're trying to use it as like a broadcasting tool, that's where you're going to find an issue, I think, with Google+. Plus. interested as well about the Hangouts feature. What are your impressions of that so far? Because I, I take this might be one of the first ones we've you know, really used a, a Hangout to have a discussion about Google+, Plus or something journalism-related. It's an interesting way of having a, um, having a conversation through the web, I think. I don't know of many other services that offer this feature through a web-based system, which I think opens opens the platform up to so many more people um, than, say, maybe even a service like Skype. Um, it'll be interesting to see how Google integrate the Hangouts further into their apps on the iPhone and on Android, um, because then that... I, I don't know. I don't know what that means for Skype, um, but you know, with Microsoft now owning Skype um, and the potential for Skype to, at some point in the future, not be a free service, Google might be positioning themselves well um, with the Hangouts feature, and I think it could be very useful. The thing yeah, is, I mean, sorry, no, go ahead. Uh, the thing is, Facebook has also just adopted Skype, and into, if I ever wanted to conduct a video interview, you know, I would use Skype or I would use Facebook because both have video now. Um, in terms of, you know, in terms of Google Hangouts, I think the only reason I would use it is to speak to other journalists. If I'm uh, collaborating with someone like, I don't know, let's say if someone was covering the riots now in London, like that, that's another reason I would use it. But I wouldn't use it to. I would never have a need to interview more than one person at a time, maybe two max. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously great for panel discussions. Mm. Uh, maybe collaborating on stories. How could it be used as a collaboration tool, do you think? It would definitely um, be great if you had project teams around the world, um, or if you had, if you had um, a team of journos in an international network, you could all connect on Google Hangouts to um, discuss your story or, you, you know, that, that, that then I think for journalism opens up the potential that you could, and, and it's already been there, that, that potential's already been there with services like Skype, but the potential to basically run your international news website without having an office. Just a quick question to all of you. Do you see yourself spending more time with Google Plus um, over the next, you know, weeks or months? No, I've already lessened it. Uh, probably depend on how many more of my friends actually sign up and start posting stuff. I mean, I'm like most of you, I guess. I signed in, played around with it a bit for a couple of weeks, so I was posting some stuff and then... Got over like, it. Maybe... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So now, now I maybe post one or two things um, a day. So make a few comments here and there. But it, it's, I mean, it just depends on who's on. Um, if there was more of my friends on there, if there was more interesting people on there, I'd definitely use it. 
I'm a sucker for nice interfaces, what can I say? I mean, I'm going to find myself using Google+, Plus. I think, a lot in the next maybe six to eight months. And the reason, the reason for that is probably because of the way that I took up Twitter. Um, and I, I did what a lot of people did with Twitter. And there was a huge trend of people that would sign up and not really understand the service. And then six months later, I'd come back to it. Um, so I'm going to continue using Google Plus and I'm going to try and make a serious effort to um, kind of be involved in the Google Plus community um, purely so that in six months, if it does take off, I'm already on there and I already have my circles and my following, etc., all set up. So, um, but that's, you know, that's only purely self-interest and there is no other reason for that. And what about you, Brendan? Yeah, I'm pretty much in the same boat. Like, I mean, I guess working in social media, I've got to keep an eye, keep my, my sort of foot in a few different ponds. And because my editor doesn't really think it's going to take off, I feel I'm, I'm not uh, an avid user yet. Like, a, when I log, when I get in the morning, I check my Twitter and Facebook. And about an hour in, I go, oh, maybe, you know, Google Plus. Like, I don't really think, I know I'm posting yet, but I still think it's worth being in, at least, you know, like I say, being involved, uh, being in there, just just having a look around, and when it takes off, you know, be be prepared, know how it all works. And I think that's I think it's a wait and see kind of process. 